So yesterday I was on my phone and came across this article, traveling with a laptop and an iPad to Mexico, prepare to pay hundreds. And it really created curiosity because I've been to Mexico and probably going back. And I want to share this with you because I don't think a lot of people even know about this and something to be aware because you may be charged additional duties going into the country with what they're doing. And it, this is not something that seems to be new, but it seems like they're implementing it on a more of a regular basis now in 2024 going to 2025. So be prepared. And again, I'll be sure to put a link to this article. Now it mentions because Mexico is having so many people coming in to the country with so many devices that they are having these duties that you have to pay when going through customs at the airport. So according to this consulate, it says Mexico allows tourists to bring only one laptop, notebook, Omnibook, or other portable computing devices on a tax-free basis according to the Mexican Consulate General in Montreal. So you really want to be aware of this. Now, it, uh, here's an example where somebody had to pay $190 uh, for the laptop that this person had because they also had an iPad. So again, they may even determine what the value should be and then charge you. So really be aware of this. And then you can pay by credit card, knowing that this could very well happen, or you would have to give up the device. So be aware of this, and certainly you wouldn't want to give up your device with your information on there. And that could be definitely something that can be an eye opener, or really disappointing going into a country, you go on vacation, and you're having now to spend money on something you weren't even prepared. So you really want to now be prepared. They're talking about this on Reddit and Flyer Talk. And I did see this here on Google uh, when I went in there and people are sharing stories that this is happening. So you really want to be pre prepared. Now, one of the things you could do is if you're a family and you got some kids, you can give one child like the laptop, the other child your iPad. So uh, something to be aware of. And that is uh, what I wanted to share with you. It does mention here, Mexican Customs is serious about keeping your gadgets game in check. Just a one, one, one exempt port of device per person. Yes, that means your precious iPad 2. You're also restricted to two cameras or camcorders, three cell phones, one GPS, two musical instruments, one pair of binoculars, and one set of portable speakers among other limitations. So there you go. And here, one other last thing, if you bring more restricted items than you're allowed on an exempt basis, you may be required to pay a 19% duty on the estimated value of the extra devices. That could mean nearly $200 on a brand new iPad Pro or three to $400 on a new MacBook Pro laptop, depending on how much the custom offer officer estimates their worth. So there you go. And you can see you're getting taxed on a laptop in Mexico isn't a scam. So check out the article and you can also Google about this and do your own research. But again, this is something that really concerned me with planning to go back to Mexico and it will make me rethink of how I will pack and what I need to bring. Plus, if you're going to Mexico and going on a vacation, maybe just leave one of those at home and enjoy your trip. And when you get back, you'll be able to catch up or you may even be able to use the hotel's computer when you get there. All right. Have a great one. I hope this is helpful and please share this with others that you know that are planning to go to Mexico now or in the future. All right. Have a great one. We'll see you on the next one.